This is the MIS surgical kit for internal hex implants. We'll go through the pieces now. First up, we've got our hand hex driver. 0 0.5, 0 0.05 inch hex driver, also called a 1.25 millimeter. This is gonna be used for a lot of applications, including removing the cover screws, healing caps, impression coping screws, and final abutment screws. Next up, we've got what's called the thread adapter. Originally called that because it was designed so to modify the thread form type drills so they can be used with a wrench. It's also going to be used for anything that would fit a what's called a latch type connection, which is the same as what goes into your handpiece, can go into the thread adapter. Next, we have the drill extender. So any of the drills can fit into here to become longer. Should there be a, a issue with nearby teeth preventing the uh, handpiece from going as deeply as necessary. And we have the hand motor. This is to begin placing an implant. This end will go directly into the implant's fixture mount so that if you'd like you can insert this to remove the implant from its packaging and place it directly into the site. Chances are you will not have enough finger torque to place the entire implant, but some doctors like to begin placing it with this and finish with another method. Next up we've got body try-ins of various diameters. Notice in this kit we have the 2.8, 3.2, 3.8, and 4.3 to match the diameters of the drills. Each of them have the markings for the depths, 8, 10, 11.5, 13, and 16. If necessary, you can put this in and leave it in place during the x-ray to verify that the depth is accurate. Underneath that, you have a set of four identical parallel pins. One is, one side is two millimeters diameter, the other side is 3.2 millimeters. So if you're drilling multiple sites, you can leave these in the previous osteotomies to verify the angulation to keep them parallel as you're placing additional sites. In the middle of the kit, you have the four implant insert tools. What the top two are for is they go directly into the implant's fixture mount, while the other end is held in place by a wrench. In this case, the kit, we give you the ratchet wrench. However, any of these insert tools that fit into this wrench will also work with the torque wrench. So right now I've got the long implant insert tool. There's also a short one. Below those you have the long and short motor mount adapters. This will go into your handpiece and in the same manner the other end will go into the fixture mount to place the implant. Below that we have the motor screws. Just like the hand hex driver, they are 0 0.05 inches. We've got a long one and a short one, which will go into your handpiece, or using the thread adapter, put it this way, and connect it to your ratchet wrench. This way you can insert and remove any of the 0 0.05 inch screws using your wrench. Next up, we've got the drills themselves. The surgical kit that we provide comes with a marking drill, a 2.0 millimeter drill, 2.8, 3.2, 3.8, and a countersink drill for the various diameters of implants. There are additional spaces for other drills and also some spare slots. The extra drills will be needed for the 6 millimeter implants. Those are the green, which is a 4.5 or 4.3 millimeter drill. The reason that that one isn't as important is because the next diameter, you have to use a larger drill. So some doctors may have a 4.3, others might have a 4.5. The next diameter drill, color-coded white, is a 5 millimeter. So if the doctors have this, they can put the extra ones in the 6 and 7 spots and the countersink in the 8th spots. The other additional piece we give the doctors for free 
commonly called the MTMRH20, or Direct Insert Tool. This is the short version, we also have it in long. Um, this is going to go directly into the implants um, platform itself without using the fixture mount. This is very useful for if the doctor has removed the fixture mount, he can now access the implant directly, or in rare cases, if the fixture mount has broken because of extreme stress, you can still decide to remove the implant using this tool or continue inserting it the rest of the way. So it's a very handy tool we give to doctors with each surgical kit. We recommend they put it right into the spare slot so they have it on hand. As we've mentioned before, you have the ratchet wrench. The ratchet wrench has an arrow which indicates the direction of force. So if you need to insert the implant clockwise, this is the way you would put the driver in so that you're applying force in the correct direction and ratcheting in the opposite way. If you would need to remove the implant or any of the other screws, you would turn it the other way. Finally, the last piece, which can be the most confusing to explain, is the holding mount key. This key serves two purposes, mostly the hexed, the square part here with the hole through the center is designed to secure the fixture mount. What happens is you place an implant by turning it clockwise. Then you need to remove the screw holding the fixture mount by applying the counterclockwise motion. What you don't want to do is move the implant in the process of removing the screw. So you would insert this square part into the fixture mount and put your hex driver directly through the center like this so that when you turn it you only move the screw not moving the fixture mount or the implant. This is especially important in soft bone where the implant might not have been put in with a high newton centimeter force. After that you would remove the screw, the fixture mount and the tool. The other end which you'll notice is a sharp flat end is used for the alternate purpose which is to remove any of the motor screws or other attachments from both the thread adapter and drill extender. The way it works is just like a miniature little crowbar you put this into here to pry it open. Most of the time doctors can just remove this with their fingers but if you put a lot of force on you can just use this as a safety precaution so that you don't have to pull on a, on a drill in order to remove it. That's everything that we include in the kit.